Today's date is September 11th, 2021, 20 years after the attacks of 9-11. Um, this week I am, I was teaching, um, and first time I'm teaching in a couple years, um, and I am teaching the students. And we're talking about 9-11 because um, the subject matter of the course is um, specifically that terrorism. And it's a little bit different this year because it's 20 years, um, so it, it feels a little bit different. Most of the students in my course were never alive um, for that, so it makes it a little bit harder to talk about. Also, something about the 20-year point, um, something about the pull out of Afghanistan, the way it was done, um, the state the country's in now, all hits you a little bit more emotionally when you talk about it. Um, Netflix has a 9-11 documentary, uh, some of the news programs are doing the women of 9-11, so it's, um, it, it feels different this year. Five years ago, um, I did uh, a full marathon, my wife and I did a full marathon, um, for this. Ten years ago, I was just in, meeting my wife. Um, Twenty years ago, I was in seventh grade, um, Miss Johnson's English class, watching the towers get hit. Um, heard the first plane hit, and then um, they brought in the rear projection TV screen, and threw it up, and um, everyone watched as the, the second plane hit the tower. Um, we didn't see the Pentagon one. I think we were either moving to the next class or something happened. Um, but you only just saw the, the recap of that in the videos after the fact for it. And as the day goes on, you hear about the Shanksville. And um, here in Pennsylvania, hit uh, a little bit closer to home there, too. Uh, so things were shut down. Uh, and it's hard to... Hard to talk about it more this year. You get the the swelling in the back of your throat a little bit more, and it's maybe it's the emotional connection of never forgetting those um, that died in the attack, the three thousand some souls, um, or those that have perished since then um, from the dust and debris, um, suicide, anyone that had had to deal with it and um, deal with those that they lost in, in the attack as well, uh, and then the Again, to include Afghanistan, Iraq, the conflicts we've had in that time, so many many service members in that time too. Uh, that 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 makes it hard um, from perspective of being an American. But there's something else there. It's it's the the pride that makes it a little bit harder uh, because with that, there's the never forgetting the tragedy that happened that day. Of course. Um, but it's also where and who we were at then on the 12th of September. So what the U.S. then became. Um, so we stood up, the Department of Homeland Security and um, the Global War on Terror, the GWAT had been going on before that. You can include other countries and other conflicts in that as well. Uh, but it's something that was happening. Um, but the way the U.S., functioned in the world has forever changed. Um, what we were doing on the global scale, the role of intelligence, uh, it, it all changed dramatically that day. Um, and then who the country fundamentally was, how the U.S. came together from that. I mean, yeah, there's all the country songs and all that stuff. Um, but we, we were kind of worried about one thing in general at that point. It was... Um, Vengeance, revenge, the solidarity in beliefs and action. Um, and may, maybe that's one of the major changes. Uh, maybe that's something that the past year and a half of COVID has brought about for us. Um, we are not that solid nation anymore. We are much more fragile. Um, we have so many attacks, um, foreign, domestic, of the non traditional nature. Um, information operations, psyops, um, the news media and, and the way that, that works in general, social media, you know, the way that this works. Um, it's, it's harder 
and maybe maybe that that feeling in the back of your throat now it's the the grief uh the pride of what we used to be and also the knowing that the country is not that now we are not the country that we once were um, and that makes it harder um, we are much more divided um, and I don't, I don't mean politically I mean the people the people are divided on specific issues and some of them are large and some of them are small but they're brought to the light and people now are focused on what divides us rather than what brings us together So whenever you're thinking about this on 9-11, whenever you're going over this in your head, you're talking about this with your kids, your neighbors, your friends, um, maybe focus on that a little bit more and focus on what brings us together. How do we get back to the country that we were on 9-12-2001? Because we should never forget um, those that we lost, those that we lost along the way, those that we lost in the attacks. But we should also never forget that. That was um, a big change for the United States and something that made us fundamentally stronger as a country and as a population. Thanks, guys.